the crime scene and tried to determine the cause of death later on Thursday. That cause of death was officially determined by the GBI crime lab. It was a single gunshot wound to her back. Uh, she, uh, we found her vehicle Wednesday night in a public location in Athens. It's the Lowe's on the east side. Uh, we were able to obtain uh, security, footage, uh, security footage from several locations. We backtracked from there. And that's how we determined the make of the model of the vehicle uh, that was released on Friday. Uh, that information being released led to several tips uh, during the night, last night, yesterday afternoon. Uh, from there, we located uh, the pickup truck and, and, and Mr. Powell. And the other evidence and investigation has led to his arrest. What was Mr. Powell's first name? Sure. Talmadge. Talmadge. G A L M A D G E, I believe. It's online. We'll just put it up on Facebook. Oh, uh, is book his shot up there as yeah, well? Yeah, the book, book and photo will be available. Too. Any so connection between that? him and the uh, deceased? They knew each other. Through Waffle House? Uh, I believe he had been a customer there, but they, they knew each other. And he is an Oconee County resident. He is an Oconee County resident. And he's 78 years old. Could you repeat his name? Talmadge Edward Bud Powell. Bud's a nickname. Everybody locally will know him as Bud. Powell, you said? Powell. 78 years old? 78 years old. Any motive at this point? There was an altercation uh, between the, the two of them. I don't want to go into the specifics of what they argued about. In Athens, Clark? Not here, not here. A recent altercation or one that spanned over time? Uh, they had an altercation that day. They, they did previously know each other. Uh, yeah, they weren't strangers. Were there witnesses to that altercation? No. no? It, so it was not at the Waffle House, it no, was elsewhere? it was not at the Waffle House, it was at a location here in Oconee County. Do you know if the murder itself took place in Athens, Clark, Oglethorpe? It took place in Oconee County. So it can took you... place at the crime scene. What's that? It took place at the, the scene where her body was found. No. No. And you said Can it was you give a, us a, uh, a timeline of, of events that, that, as far as you know them let's right say, now? Let's say she left, we know she left work at 1 o'clock. Okay. She then went and actually met with Mr. Powell. And at that time, a altercation occurred between the two of them, and she was killed with the single gunshot wound. To her behind, is that right? To her behind. To her back. To her back. Do you know why they were meeting? Uh, I not, don't want to go into that right now. Where was the location where they met? The location's here in Oconee. Where at in Oconee? At La Vista Road. Okay. So that was his house? Yeah. Okay. And then at some point then he takes her car to the Lowe's? He uh, put her car on a trailer. Is that the pewter colored? Yeah. The pewter colored pickup truck's his pickup truck. She had a white GMC, Jimmy, uh, SUV. Uh, he put her car, her car on the trailer and placed her body on Simonton Grid Road and then went to Lowe's and took the car off the trailer and left it at Lowe's. Did the pewter-colored Chevy lead to his arrest in terms of you putting that out yesterday? Yes. That, that was very key into, into him being identified as a suspect. May I say good work, sir? Thank you. What time was his arrest? Uh, at some point during the night, last night. I don't know the exact time, but he was... Well, that, that's when we, we met with him and talked with him. Did somebody give you the exact minute where he was told that he was under arrest. Was that a tip from a citizen? Uh, multiple tips. Did he so, confess? Uh, yeah. Did he, he ask for an attorney? Not at this time. Does he have a previous criminal history? He was arrested in March for shoplifting stakes from the Bells. Uh, that's the only that's the only that I know of that's in our system. I have not done a criminal history check, you know. Through the GCIC system. Does he have family here in Oconee County? Yes. Is is he married with children? Or? Uh, he has adult children and adult grandchildren here in Oconee County. Uh, I believe he is divorced. Has he lived here a long time? I think he's a long time resident. I, I, don't, I don't know for certain, but he's he's been here long enough that his adult grandchildren have lived here. Is he employed or unemployed? Do you know exactly? Uh, I don't know the, the status of his employment. Was anyone else involved, to your knowledge? To our knowledge, the, it's, it's just him and her. What type of gun? I don't know. Um, I think we've already asked this, but just so I'm clear, the can you, how would you characterize the nature of their relationship? Uh, they knew each other. They were familiar with each other. And I don't want to get into 
why she would have been there. Uh, been there. We still have some investigating to do. Their, their case in the investigation does not end with the arrest. You know, we still uh, uh, got some crime scene things we got to do, some other evidence we've got to recover. Uh, I don't want to go into why she would have been there. Is there an address on La Vista Road? Have you sent out the, the photo and the name to all the, the stations? I'll put it on our Facebook page, but I can get it to anyone individually. That needs yes, to do that. please do. We, we always put that anytime we're doing a release, it goes on our Facebook page as well. Okay, so the photo of him and his name. Yeah, okay. it's on our Facebook page. Okay. Again, thank you for the excellent work. Uh, I would like to just, our investigators, we've got some that haven't been asleep since Wednesday. You know, maybe catch a couple of minutes here or there. They have worked, the, the teamwork that we've seen from our guys uh, this week has been outstanding. I've been very impressed with the way they've all worked together. And just the get it done attitude that, that they all have. Uh, a lot of our, our guys from our uniform patrol division became investigators this week too. Every, every deputy sheriff's an investigator. Uh, but and, they, anyone in particular? Uh, the entire uh, criminal investigations division and many from the patrol division. Did Watkinsville PD help? Uh, none, none of this took place inside the city limits of Watkinsville. How many personnel were on the investigation? Oh gosh. CID's five plus a crime scene technician. Uh, I can't tell you how many uniform patrol members were involved at other times, either helping secure things or helping make contact. Uh, we have a, a, quite a few of the, the uniform patrol guys went to various locations trying to help secure video footage. I know this was a miraculous team effort of, of everybody involved here. What, was there security footage? Uh, we, have, we have footage of him towing her car. Does the media have access to that? Not at this time. I don't have it in a format that I can give it to you. A lot of, a lot of the security footage is, is on proprietary software, but you have to have the drivers to run and, and everything. There's not a commonality there. Is that was east side. You, you could play it here. We could reveal tape off uh, the screen. No, because we don't have. We have. I don't know if we have the drivers to run everything. Some okay. of it we went to the stores and, and saw it. And, and okay. that was east side Lowe's in Athens Park. Yeah, east side Lowe's. And yeah, it's kind of. We found her car on Wednesday, and it's been. A lot, part of the investigation was backtracking, trying to find more evidence to deal with that car and trying to get a good picture of the suspect and the truck and, and everything, the, the manner that it got over there. And then other parts of the investigation were people going to talk to all the Waffle House waitresses and family and everything and getting information about her so we knew where to look and who she'd be in contact with. And then when we were able to release the information about the truck yesterday. Several tips came in. Hey, this guy's got a truck that looks like that, and we think he knows her. We're you know, uh, not want to look here, and that's what led led to the arrest. It was a flatbed trailer? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Is, is there uh, any idea why he chose that spot to, to dump her body? No, I don't think that was that planned out. Any signs of struggle? No. Was so, there sorry, any? did this happen inside this house or outside? So you're saying that his house is on La Vista? Yeah, uh, but his you residence don't... is on La Vista. You, but can't you, see, you can't see his house from the front door. Okay, but that's not going to be a problem. What's that? I've never stopped it before, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you had the address, we still going to go down there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or as I found out yesterday, as I'm standing on the side of the road, the news trucker flies all the way around, and then I get 300 questions, just flies a helicopter flying over the rocking so, so to your knowledge, nowhere near Hank Huckabee or Paul Brown's house? Sure, exactly where Hank could be involved. Both of them, but I did see Hank Huck drive by. Here both tonight. of them live on La Vista, that's so why I take it to go to Athens Academy. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. So, I just want to make sure that we <laughs> because we just want to make sure that we are videotaping the right spot so you don't have an address. I can't remember what the exact numerics of it are. It's, it's fairly close to you turn on the La Vista, and it's fairly close, right? fairly close to 441. Yeah, yeah. remember there, right side or left side? Left. Thank you. Was there anything found within either of their cars that explained the nature of their relationship? Uh, I'm not going to go into that. As I said, the investigation doesn't stop just because the arrest has been made. 
Okay, we can. Any other yeah. before we, we go? Just, yeah, we just take off the mics and we'll just um, wait for her to come out. And we'll pause. This is the only house. It's You're not going to be able to get it. And while he's putting on your mic, can you just go ahead and say and spell your name? T-A-B-I-T-H-A-T-A-Y-L-Y. Now just go ahead and say it for us. What's your name? Tell us about your mom. My mom, she worked all the time. She worked for me and for everything she has. She's the most generous woman I know. She only cared about others. She never cared for herself. She, she worked day and night. She's a beautiful woman and I don't think she deserves what happened to her at all. Tell us where you go to school. I go to Oglethorpe County. What grade? I'm going to 10th grade. Tabitha, did you, um, I know we spoke to you last night, um, and, and we didn't know anything at that point. Just uh, wondering if, if you could get, how does this or that change things, or does it change how it you feel? It does, it, I'm relieved. This brought closure to my heart. My mama can finally rest in peace. I thank God for all the detectives, every one of them, because they made it where my mama can actually rest in peace. Is there anything else that, that you'd like to say? Well, I just want to know why the person did what they did. I'm not mad at them for doing it. I just want to know why. I want her to know that I love her and that this is going to be really hard. Tell us about your mom away from Waffle House. Tell her about... She, she came home and she stood by me. She, you know, she talked to me all the time. She's who I told everything to. And pretty much it. She just worked all the time. Have you ever heard of this guy, Bud? I've never heard of anybody named that, that name. What would you like people to remember most about your mom? That she was, she was beautiful and she was generous and she was way too good for this to happen to her. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you.